From our earliest days, we ventured out from Africa. We crossed continents and we navigate through the treacherous oceans. We conquered the earth. Now, we set our sights on a grander destination, the stars. The universe beckons, filled with untold wonders and possibilities. Our neighboring planets tantalize us. Mars, with its rusty plains, hints at past life. Beyond the gas giants, Jupiter and Saturn swirl with mesmerizing beauty. But these are just stepping stones. Our ultimate goal lies farther afield, among the distant stars and their planetary systems. This ambition, however, faces a formidable obstacle. The vast distances between stars dwarf anything we have encountered before. Traditional chemical rockets, the workhorses of our space program, are simply inadequate for this challenge. They lack the power for such journeys. A new form of propulsion is needed, something that can unlock the true potential of interstellar travel. Chemical rockets, for all their power, are bound by a fundamental limitation fuel. They burn through propellant at an astonishing rate, limiting their range and speed. To reach even the closest stars, we would need a rocket larger than our planet. Clearly, a different approach is necessary. Scientists and dreamers alike have long envisioned faster-than-light travel, warping space-time or punching through wormholes. While tantalizing, these concepts remain firmly in the realm of science fiction. We need a solution grounded in reality, something that can bridge the immense gulf between our current capabilities and the dream of interstellar voyages. Enter the black hole engine, a theoretical concept that has ignited the imaginations of physicists and space enthusiasts worldwide. This radical idea harnesses the most extreme objects in the universe, black holes, to propel us to the stars. It might sound like something out of Star Trek, but the science, as it turns out, is surprisingly sound. Black holes, once shrouded in mystery and fear, are now revealing themselves as potential keys to interstellar travel. These cosmic objects, formed from the collapse of massive stars, possess gravitational pulls so intense that not even light can escape their grasp. But this immense gravity, often perceived as a destructive force, can also be harnessed. Theoretical physicists have proposed a way to extract energy from a rotating black hole, a process known as the Penrose process. This energy, in the form of radiation, can be directed to create thrust, propelling a spaceship forward. Imagine a spaceship equipped with a black hole engine, a miniature version of these cosmic giants. It would act as a constant source of energy, emitting a steady stream of radiation that would push the spaceship to incredible speeds, perhaps even approaching the speed of light. But not all black holes are created equal. For a black hole engine to be viable, it needs to be the right size, a delicate balance between power and practicality. A black hole that's too massive would be difficult to handle and potentially dangerous, while one that's too small would quickly evaporate due to hawking radiation. Through meticulous calculations, scientists have determined the ideal candidate, a black hole with a mass of approximately two million tons. This might sound enormous, but on a cosmic scale, it's smaller than a proton. This tiny titan, however, packs a punch. Its intense gravitational field generates a tremendous amount of radiation, enough to power a spaceship for centuries. It's the perfect engine for a long and arduous journey to the stars. So where can we find this perfect black hole? Scientists have also proposed theoretical solutions for creating one ourselves. Now, you might be wondering, how do we create a black hole? It sounds like something out of science fiction, but the technology might be closer than we think. Scientists believe it's possible to create microscopic black holes using powerful lasers. Imagine a massive solar panel hundreds of kilometers wide orbiting the sun. This behemoth would collect solar energy and convert it into powerful gamma rays. These rays, focused with incredible precision, could potentially collapse matter into a tiny black hole. This process, while still theoretical, is grounded in the laws of physics. With a black hole engine at its core, a spaceship could ride the waves of radiation, constantly accelerating towards its destination. Unlike traditional rockets that burn through fuel and lose thrust, a black hole engine would provide continuous acceleration, propelling the spaceship to incredible speeds. This constant thrust would allow us to overcome the limitations of time and distance. Traveling to our closest neighboring star, Proxima Centauri, which is about 4.24 light years away, would take an incredibly long time with current technology. Even the fastest object in space, 
NASA's Parker Solar Probe, which has reached speeds of approximately 700,000 kilometers per hour, would take approximately 6,535 years. While a journey to a nearby star with speed close to speed of light might still take about five years, the time experience inside the spaceship would be dramatically different. Passengers wouldn't feel the acceleration and time dilation would mean that less time would pass for them compared to people back on Earth. Albert Einstein's theory of space-time demonstrates that as you travel closer to the speed of light, time ticks slower and slower. At the speed of light, time would effectively stop. Traveling at speeds near the speed of light would cause time to flow much more slowly, meaning that while someone on Earth experiences a five-year wait for your arrival at your destination, only a fraction of that time would have passed on your ship since you left Earth. Imagine a scenario in which your twin, light years away, ages nearly five years more than you do. As you gaze out the window, you witness the stars streaking by, creating a breathtaking cosmic light show. You hurtle through the vast emptiness of space at incomprehensible speeds, experiencing a journey that transcends the boundaries of time itself. A single black hole engine would be a marvel, but imagine a fleet of starships, each powered by these cosmic powerhouses. With such a fleet, we could send missions to distant star systems, establish colonies on habitable planets, and perhaps even encounter other intelligent life. These ships wouldn't be mere vessels, they would be arcs, carrying the hopes and dreams of humanity to the stars. And our unwavering belief in the power of science and exploration, the possibilities are endless. We could establish trade routes between star systems, share knowledge and resources with other civilizations, and create a truly interconnected galactic society. The concept of using black holes for propulsion might seem daunting, even frightening. After all, black holes are often portrayed as cosmic vacuum cleaners, devouring everything in their path. But these fears are largely unfounded, especially when it comes to miniature black holes. A black hole with the mass of two million tons, while incredibly dense, would have a gravitational pull no stronger than a small asteroid. It wouldn't pose any threat to Earth or any other celestial body. In fact, if we replace the Sun with a black hole of the same mass, Earth would continue orbiting as if nothing had changed. The only difference would be the lack of sunlight. The key takeaway is this. Black holes, when understood and harnessed correctly, can be powerful tools for good. They can be the engines that propel us to the stars, unlocking the secrets of the universe and securing the future of humankind. The journey to the stars is fraught with challenges, but the rewards are immeasurable. The black hole engine, while still a theoretical concept, offers a tantalizing glimpse into the future, where we can explore the cosmos. However, until we can turn the black hole engine theory into a reality, watch the next video about the challenges of space travel we are facing today.